up y'all Trey be dipping in the building you know what time it is so check this out I'm getting tuned tomorrow yeah that's right finally getting retuned by my original tuner he's a beast man Matt Shoe. if you're on the East Coast look up Matt Shoe, man he's a beast um long story short I gotta go out to my man Mike's house uh, Mike is my fabricator he's the one who welds up my stuff and because I put in that new tucked radiator, my old dump tube didn't work anymore. So um, I'm going to him to get the uh, the new dump tube welded up and fabbed up. And I do got a few other things that I need to do. And uh, enjoy the video. So I'm actually, uh, it's really, really early right now. Earlier than my usual. <laughs> um, it's like eight, eight o'clock. Anyway. Um, I'm on my way to my boy Michael Strauss' house. Um, he's actually uh, gonna fabricate up my dump tube. Cause I'm getting too much. Fellas, got the new uh, the new dump tube fabbed up. Thanks to my man Mike. You like being called Mike or just yeah, Michael? Fine. Oh, okay. My man Mike. <laughs> but anyway, got the dump tube fabbed up, and um, cause I, you know, the other one was was good. But then what happened was when I put the full uh, tuck rad in there, took up a lot of space. So good to go now. So now we're ready for the tune tomorrow. got that out the way dump tube is fabbed up looks real good he did a really good job as usual 
Uh, two more things I gotta do to get ready. I literally went through everything, double checked, triple checked everything. The only thing I have left to do is number one, I have to change out my spark plugs because the ones I have in there are actually new, but I have to switch to a different, uh, different actual spark plug uh, because I'm going E85. Hey, you hear me? So that's the other thing. So uh, those of you who feel like you might want to go E85 in the future, the proper way to do it before you get tuned is um, now I have the S300. Depending on whether or not you have the S300 or not, may change things a little bit. But basically, long story short, what you want to do is you want to drain out the gas, whatever you're running 93, 83, 31, 57, 78, 41. <laughs> <laughs> empty all that out man um the way i'm gonna do it is there's actually a test fuel pump feature in s uh in the s manager uh, all i have to do is turn it on drain the gas out uh and you got to take off the fuel uh feed line to the rail is what i is what i'm gonna do um and then put that into like a five gallon container empty it out right now i'm on like i got like three four notches on my gas so by the time I finish driving doing what else I need to do it should be lower than that empty that out and then I'm going to uh, put five gallons of E85 in the tank uh, use that same process pump that five gallons out which is gonna pretty much clear the system of any 93 that's left ever in there and then from there once I drain that five gallons out then I'm gonna fill it all the way up with E85 so uh, yeah that's what I got left to do all right, so my tuner told me my tuner told me that uh, so my tuner told me that I had to uh, drain all the remaining gas and then put five gallons and then put five gallons of E85 in the tank, drain uh, drain that out, and then fill it all the way back up. I guess it's the best way to try to get rid of whatever remaining like 93 is in there. So that's what I'm doing now. And then we're gonna put this, uh, put this drone on the trailer. You hear me? It even smell different. <laughs> you smell that? Who sees it? <laughs> back up now and then uh we're we'll gonna see if it start up i had to make some changes to the tune the tune told me to uh do a 40 percent trim and uh i had no idea what that means that's what he told me to do it said go to the fuel trim tab it turns to like 40 percent it said it should start and run it won't run very good but i just need to make it back home and get the car back on the trailer and then it should be good Get this truck cranked up. 